Hey guys, welcome back to the Virtuous Life, Sarin Virtue. Um, today's video is going to be a little rant, a little chit chat, a little discussion on why I hate group projects and why they should not exist because it's not our degree, it's not their degree, it's my degree, okay? So I don't understand why my degree is in the hands of group projects, but I just want to talk about why I do like working in groups, okay? Don't get it confused, there's group projects and there's working in groups. Okay, so if that seems like something you're interested in, then carry on watching this video. Okay, so if you didn't really know, I feel like I chat about this loads. I'm a civil engineering student and engineers, we have a lot of group projects. We have design group projects and we have our, our final um, hand in for our fourth year is a GDP, which is a, a, another group project. And so, your, being in groups is nothing new, okay? However, I can tell you, or I can promise you, you always just naturally do worse than group projects compared if you did it by yourself, okay? Um, group projects, I always feel like you get the lowest mark. Not the lowest mark, but it's always one of the lowest out of all the marks you've got. And I bet you, if you ask anyone, they'll back you up with this. Group projects, you're just, de you're just destined to do worse than compared if you had all these individual like modules, okay? And let me just tell you why I don't like group project. It's just like, not that I can't work in groups. I'm a team player. I love sports. I play netball, corfball, basketball. I play, I play a lot of sports, okay? And I'm a team player. Why I just can't stand group project is because they put us in random groups, okay? Random people you don't know, you've never communicated with. And that's not an issue because, you know, I'm a friendly person, love a bit of chit chat, get to know people. However, when like 25% of my grade relies on this project, um, I'm worried. I'm worried for me, I'm worried for you, and I'm worried for us because if you, I just, don't like i just don't like dropping like, i hate when my averages drop because i did bad in something um so like in group projects basically you don't get you don't assign your groups they assign it randomly they say randomly i have no idea how they assign it and then normally you have four or five people or three or four people depending on what the project is and it all seems to go well but if you rely on someone to keep their pace up and they're not keeping their pace up then there's an issue because now it's affecting the whole group and that's why i just don't like group project obviously there's ways around this but like yeah group project is nothing new in civil engineering or engineering in general but why do you like working in groups okay engineering is hard okay well it was yeah, it's hard, okay? Third year, it's hard. Second year was hard. First year, mm, but it's hard. And I know it's just gonna get harder. And you know what makes it easier? Having friends in your course, having people that you can rely on and people you can message like, oh, did you, da, da, da. Like, it's so important. I, I actually get, I'm gobsmacked on, I'm flabbergasted, is that the word? I'm, no, I'm gobsmacked when I hear that people don't have friends in their course. Cause I can't imagine not having friends in my course because they help me so much. And I feel like I help them a lot as well. Um, just in terms of like this, just okay, for example, for example, you're doing this mock. Actually, no. Let me just take to the basics. Sometimes they set an assignment. Okay, there's a there's a there's a plan. There's a plan view, side view, front view of all the of all the different like. There's basically different views, and I honestly sometimes can't even understand what I'm looking at. And I spent hours just thinking, what e what even is the question? Yeah, I learned what the question is trying to, what I'm supposed to do from the question. I don't even understand the question itself. And then just asking people, like having people, like your friends explain it and be like, oh, this is what we're looking at. I'm like, oh, it speeds up the process. Like, and also just to, like double check in your work. There's some things like, say we're calculating moments. Yeah, people can do moments, force times distance. Yeah. But then the lever arm, say you got like the wrong, the long, di wrong distance and you're never going to clock that because you spent hours looking at it. And when you spend hours looking at something, things just go past you you think no no i've checked my calculation this is right but then if you get an external person to check you be like oh bro you missed out the x or this is an x squared not an x cubed or something like that they, that's just massively helps you and also it's just like refreshing like just exchanging like chit chats with people anyways i feel like i'm waffling long story short i feel like you definitely need to have friends in your course and then here's some virtues four tips on how you can start getting friends in your course first thing is like um in your flat or where you're staying in first year accommodation you're bound to meet someone in your course i'm not saying loads but you're bound to meet at least one and then when you met that one that gives you one friend and say that one friend has their friends that now becomes your friends because you know what we like to do network we like to talk to people we like to build our network to make sure that we have friends acquaintances people that will actually help us throughout our course and i feel like i have a great unit of friends that help me and i've been friends with them from first year and i definitely know i'm going to be friends with them for life and they just help me loads and you know it's a good it's a good what's the word 
it's a good dynamic okay so first things um friends from your accommodation another thing is like first year your first group your first design project you won't know anyone so make friends with those people it might be hard you might not like them okay you don't have to force a friendship you just have to have a mutual understanding like oh if i'm stuck you might help me and if, I, if, if you're stuck i'll help you and that's a great way because you'll be just you'll be put with people from your course they've never met and you're forced to work with them for 15 weeks minimum because that's a semester and that's a good way to make friends because trust me you need friends in this engineering thing <laughs> there's no reason for it to be this hard okay so you make friends with those people and those people will most definitely have their other friends and you know one friend two friends three friends four friends and then boom friendship group okay another thing you can do is societies when you join an excel like a sport team like netball or basketball or just like weightlifting on a surfing or society there's always bound to be someone someone that's in your course or in your like court not court like in your like um faculty so maybe not civil engineering but engineering in general because some modules are shared by other engineers especially like mechanical engineers you have to look out for those people so you want to make friends with people in societies and hopefully that will network you back to people in your degree and then that's another group of friends and then last but not least um do i even have a last point i can't like, i don't know i'm just coming up with ways you can make friends but i'm just trying to make sure that you understand that um having having a strong gr course group really helps you and can affect your grade throughout like your degree and i would i highly suggest that you start making friends in first year it's kind of really hard to join a group when people have established their groups that's what i'm trying to make sure that you get across what i'm trying to say if people have established their group it's so hard to join a group well personally that's what i find i find it a little bit awkward but like in first year when people are starting to like make groups that's a perfect time to go between network talk to people and make sure that you have a strong group of people that would help you as well as you helping them yeah so that's basically the moral of the story i don't like group work but i like working in groups does that make sense i think it does i don't like the group works are set like the design project because okay let me give an example in this this results no last results i say like my design project i got 60 i got a two one i just made a two one and then the other results i was getting like 70s 80s 60 is a massive it's 10 percent difference from a first so now i have to compensate for that 60 with my other grades and then you know the it's just it's just long but um some people do do you get a rare occasion where a certain group excels and group works and also i feel like with design projects you're always just capped because design is so subjective Ooh, i like that but oh i'm not really feeling that it's all though it's also damn subjective okay the architect to look at it and think wow when we get your vision and then they could look at like what were you doing and i that honestly that's just the, that's just how it is that's the tea and you have to you have to live with it but um yeah anyways thank you so much for listening to me ramble i feel um if you have any questions or want to know anything more just comment down below but see you in my next video bye